So as you're aware, the UCAT has changed this year and that does mean different things for some of the sections. However, one of the things that probably remains the least changed is the SJT. But nonetheless, it is so important that we get really a band one, at worst a band two, because the, anything below that might restrict you from what medical or dental schools you can apply to. And of course we don't want that. So we're gonna talk in this video about how we can make sure that we are in those top two bands to maximize our chances of getting into our dream university. So very quickly, you'll get 69 questions, which is split across 22 scenarios, which means that you'll get a situation and you might get anything from four to five questions about it. And you get 26 minutes to do that. You'll get two types of questions. It will be how appropriate a response is given the circumstances or in the situation, how important it is to consider certain factors. The really important thing to remember is it is not how bad the situation was in the first place or how severe the initial offense or action or a proposed thing that people were going to do. It's the response given that situation that matters. So in a situation, even though it is awful, if somebody does the best thing for that situation, it's very appropriate. Even if the situation is not that bad and someone does something very awful in comparison, that is still a very inappropriate thing to do. One of the best things you can watch is a video I made recently about the SJT here, where I go through the flow chart of how to assess for the importance type or the appropriateness type questions, like a flow chart of how to decide between those four. It gives you some crocodile teeth for whether to go for the top half or the bottom half, and then shows you how to split the hairs within the top and bottom half as to which one to go to, whether to go to the top one or the second one. For all things UCAT, one of the things that we brought out recently as a gift to you was our free UCAT tracker app. We've had really good feedback from it. So if you wanna stay on top of how well you're performing and stay motivated, stay calm during the process and understand how to perform well on the day, I recommend you check out the link in the description below to download that app completely for free. It is free, always will be free for you to stay on top of your UCAT practice. But really, when it comes to the SJT, this is one of those where you have to understand the ethics, understand the principles around patient care, prioritizing safety, confidentiality, all of the laws around it. Now, we do an entire module that you can check out here, which is all of the SJT bits within that. But like I say, on that other one where I go through the answers, that will help you understand the majority of what you know. But I'd say the best thing that you can do outside of practicing questions is read the good medical practice guidelines, even if you're studying dentistry. Pay particular attention to themes like patient safety, confidentiality, whistleblowing, team working. You'll get many situations like making mistakes, professionalism, bullying. It's key that you understand the importance of empathy and objectivity. And the other thing is to be rational about these things. Avoid the extremes unnecessarily. If something is really bad, you should escalate it, but don't escalate too early. Also, if something is really bad, you shouldn't ignore it and don't avoid situations. Ultimately, the advice would be to think like a calm, reflective, methodical junior doctor. Don't try and act like a superhero in these situations. But if you're struggling with your medical or dental school application and would like our help and coaching to get you into your chosen medical or dental school, check out the Future Doc program here where we can show you exactly everything that you need to do on the path to your chosen medical or dental school and help you write your own story.